Hello people of YouTube, it's Deep Hack here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.4 and Heat Blur Simulations F14B Tomcat module. Welcome to bonus video number one, Data Link. Today I'm going to cover the use quickly of the Link 4A and Link 4C data links in the F14B. Uh, the Link 4A being the data link that you have available to you between you and early warning aircraft and AWACS aircraft, and the Link 4C being a fighter to fighter data link. If we go ahead and jump into the cockpit and press 2 to switch to the Rio's seat, uh, we can look down at the TID. I'm actually going to hide the pilot body for a moment, and we'll notice that we have a single contact showing up on the radar, and it only has the top half of the HAFU, and there's nothing else showing up on the TID just now. So let's check out the Link 4A data link. Uh, if we bring our head down just a little bit here and take a look at the right-hand console, uh, we're interested in these two panels here. These control the data link. And for Link 4A use, we have the mode in normal. We would put the frequency frequency in of our AWACS, and we'd make sure that the, the switch here was all the way forwards in the on position. That's the position for link 4A. We also need to make sure that the mode on this back box is in TAC for tactical. So if we open the knee board and we go ahead and flip to page three, we've got two AWACS showing up here. You'll always see all of your AWACS on the knee board here and we need to tune frequency 318.4. The three is permanent, so we can't change that. So we just need to enter 184 into the, the rotaries here. So 184. And if I close the knee board just now, if I look around, all of a sudden, I'm just going to pause here so that the symbology doesn't change. We've now got uh, tracks showing up on the TID with bottom half halfus. So note that the bottom half of the halfu is what's supplied over the data link. Top half is from our own aircraft's weapon control system. So you can see we've got two hostiles here, which are not being seen by the radar at the current time, or at least we don't have tracks for them. We've got one friendly, which is actually the AWACS, which is also not seen by the radar. And then we've got one hostile here, which is seen by the radar. So you see you've got uh, top and bottom halfus there. Uh, let's go ahead and unpause. And uh, this system can show us up to eight tracks. Uh, and that's how it works. Very, very simple. Uh, now, if we wanted to make use of the fighter-to-fighter -fighter version of Link 4, that's called Link 4C, uh, this can only be used between F-14s, and it can transmit up to four tracks and your friendly aircraft's current position. And the way this works is on the right-hand side here, we need to put the, the mode switch here into the down position for auxiliary, we would choose a shared frequency. So let's say me and my, my wingmen, we've decided we're going to use 324.0. We would enter that. We'd need to make sure that we're in tactical mode. We'd want the reply mode to be in normal. In cancel mode, we don't send anything to AWACS, you see. And then we need to make sure that we all have unique addresses. So I guess, uh, you know, your, your flight lead would take 0, 01. You know, his wingman would take 0, 02, element lead 0, 03, and that wingman, uh, wingman 0, 04. Uh, and we would then get uh, information contributed between all of our aircraft showing up on the TID. Again, you'd have bottom half halfus, but you'd also get the positions of your wingmen showing up as well. And that's it. That's everything you can do with the Link 4 A and C data links in the F-14B Tomcat.